Hello again, it's Jill here, back with another Use Up the Supply video. I don't know how long this uh, trend will go. I seem to have endless things I haven't used in forever. Today my main goal is to use some die cuts. I have a Sizzix machine and I have a fair amount of dies and I also bought several sets of alphabet dies. I'll show them to you in the next segment at a yard sale that I've never even used. I got them for almost nothing. So today my goal is to use some of those dies in a mixed media page. I started in my Strathmore 500 watercolor journal with a quick sketch of a pretty girl, just a quick pencil sketch. And my go-to pencil case that I have shown you before has changed. I now have a bunch of new fountain pens. And my favorite ink is in this one. No. Which one is it in? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I forgot. Let me make sure. Is it in this one? Yes. It's my Monte Monteverde. You've seen me use this emerald ink a lot lately. It's emerald, but when it turn gets wet, it turns blue. So this is the one side of my go-to case. Sorry about that little mental glitch there. And my other side of my case has my Stabilo All pencils, an elegant writer, a kneaded eraser, some jelly roll pens, a Signo, white uniball Signo, my graph gear, um, a Sharpie, and one of these, I really like these pens, the Uniball Vision. So this case pretty much covers anything I can do on the go. This case goes with me every day in my art bag. It goes with me to work, it goes with me out. It sits next to me on the sofa. So anyway, just wanted to show you that in case you were curious a little bit about me. So I have this girl and I'm going to this ink um, let me show you. This ink is so intense and so dark. I did this page yesterday, and each one of these globes, balls, is a different color fountain pen ink in my ink pens. But look at this color. It wets, it just explodes. It's the darkest one I have. To me, this page is like too much. I almost need to go over that to lighten it up, but I'm not worried, it's only a journal page. But I want that to be the main color in this page. And this journal doesn't like lying flat. I have to put these clips on. So I didn't want you to watch me sketch my girl, although it only took me a few minutes. It's a really simple sketch. But I will show you the fountain pen part. I'm going to put a very limited amount on because like I said, it's so strong. It, it will almost be too strong. So I'm just adding a little bit and it's going to run all over. So this part doesn't have to be uh, highly accurate. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want too heavy of eyebrows. Enough of that will run to shade that in. You'll see. You'll see as I go. So her nose, I got to be real careful. I always get too much on the nose. I'm literally going to put that much on. I'm not even going to do the little notch above her mouth. I will pull ink from somewhere else to do that. Because if I put this down here, I'm going to end up with a huge dark splotch. Now... I'm going to use plain water on her face. Although I intend on doing a lot of scribble journaling in the background, and I'm going to try it with gesso. I've never used this ink with gesso before, but on her face, I'm gonna stick with what I'm comfortable with, which is water. Let me get a, oh, I don't have my favorite brush upstairs. I left it downstairs. Let me see, what can I use? Oh, this one's kind of ugly. Um. I guess I'll go with this one. It doesn't have a nice point on it. Let's see what I can do. So, I'm just going to wet my brush. I'm going to start here on the side of her face. 
see the way that ink just explodes? And work my way around. See, it's already darker than I would have liked. Rinse out my brush. You can always pull a little bit back off. But you gotta watch, it starts making blooms at that point. I'm gonna smooth this side out, her eyebrow. I'll do the darkest parts of her eyes all at once. And then rinse out my brush, get rid of that excess ink, move back up here. See, this is where I'm just using ink on my brush. I didn't even put any there on her nose. I just used ink from other places in the picture. It, this forces me to stay loose because I have to work fast. I like that having to work fast. <laughs> I can't sweat anything, I can't worry. See, there's just enough on the brush. Now her lip's gonna be dark, that's okay. And I keep it for this dark spot under here without rinsing. Now I'll rinse. Hmm, some of this is looking a little bit bloomy. Now's the time I'll hit the dark in her nostrils. Oh, see, I, I probably shouldn't have added that dark there. Can soften this a little bit here, just like watercolor. Now, I intend on having this whole side covered with um, die cuts. They're gonna come right over her face, right into her neck on this side. At least that's what I hope. We'll see what actually happens. I might go back in. Now this is all done with this one rather fat brush. Uh, it's just a royal size eight. And like I said, it doesn't even have a point, but I might try and... I can go back and add some whites in her eyes later if I have to. I'm leaving her just like, the, oh, look at the ugly bloom in her neck. All right, I'm gonna dry off my brush a lot. See if I can smooth that out a little. She really got an ugly bloom in her neck. I don't mind some blooms, Okay, I'm going to leave her like that. Now this next segment, I'm sure I'm going to fast forward because I'm going to do my scribble writing. <laughs> Anybody who's watched any of my writing, any of my videos knows what my scribble writing is. This is just to give me some color in the background and to, you know, purge some thoughts for the day, to uh, get a grip on things that have been bothering me. Life has been difficult. I missed making a video last week. I've had a lot of, I've had some, uh, my, my close friend's husband died. Another close friend has a lot of family issues. I've been trying to help them out. I, I tend to absorb all of the, all of the emotions and internalize them. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments and medical issues and um, the writing in my journal has helped me immensely. I can put my fears, my thoughts, my hopes, um, purge them, uh, give them out to the universe, um, and also recognize really what it is that's bothering me. I may think, oh, I'm upset, but what is it really that's giving me fear or giving me anxiety? So uh, enough of that. Um, let me go ahead and do my scribble work. Okay, so we know how the ink reacts with water. I've never tried it with gesso before. I just have a cheapy flat brush and my old clumpy jar of gesso. 
I don't know why it's in a jar. I must have moved it from another container. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water on top of the brush. I'm going to have to watch contaminating my gesso. Yep, I got a little blue in there. Let me do this. <laughs> you could tell I don't care a lot about that jar of gesso. Let's just make brush strokes. I'm also kind of hoping that this gives me a background where the ink won't be so water soluble. The gesso will help seal it in. So I'm pushing that back. I just want it to peek through a little. Oh, he's a little bit heavy there in her face. I don't care. Um, one more. Well, right now it's pretty monochromatic, but I'm not worried about that yet. I'm just getting down a base. Add a little water. I'm going to give my brush a quick rinse. Not perfectly clean, just wet. And I'm going to smooth out this edge so her face kind of just disappears into the side here. Rinse it again. Let it dry. Just try and smooth that out a little. All right, let's let her dry while I go pick out some patterned paper to cut some die cuts. I will be back. Okay, just to show you how ridiculous my supply stash is, I went to, my son got me a Sizzix die cut machine for Christmas a few years ago. Thank you, Greg. I have done some really nice things with it, but not recently. And maybe, uh, I don't know, a year or two ago, I went to a yard sale, or I saw it posted on Facebook yard sale that this woman was selling off of her, all of her Sizzix. So, this is a set of alphabet dies. She had it marked $5. I did not pay $5. She threw a lot of these things in for free. So here's an alphabet. Here's an alphabet. Never used them. At least not yet. Oh, well, where am I going to put these? All right. Put them down there. Here's three sets of alphabets. Let's see. She put a sample of that alphabet here. But I do believe they also... Oh, I don't even have... I don't even know how to get it open. They also come with numbers, symbols, shapes. Um, never used those. So that's an alphabet. Let me set it over here. Um, this one is another alphabet called Tootsie. So it's a different style, also with numbers and shapes and symbols. And this one is called Window and Frame Making Set. And I thought this one was really cool. I really have to figure out how to open them, don't I? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll edit this part out of the video. Oh, I see. There's two push buttons here. Okay. Jill, try not to break it. So these are a series of shapes, squares, rectangles, um, a funky box, uh, circles, ovals, triangles, hearts, 
Oh, I never even used these. I actually thought they would be good for work because I do a lot of art groups at work. But it takes time to sit and cut these shapes out. I have this set of big flowers. I have this set of kind of a very fancy splendid circles. Um, I've used those minimally, very minimally, but I have this set. I really like these flowers. Um, it's a Tim, Tim Holtz alterations and these. Now this is not all that I have. I'm just showing you a small sampling. I have a whole stack of embossing plates. I have different long borders. Anyway, moving on. I intend to use a lot of these flowers for around my girl and I think this one's too big, this, and maybe I will use some of the shapes in here. I don't know if I can fit an alphabet in uh, on this page or not. In other words, some words with letters, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. And my dear friend Jill for Christmas gave me a scrap pack of papers and I thought some of these were beautiful and would go so here on the page I'm working on, here's a series of reds, oranges. Look how pretty. I will cut these out with my machine, some greens and blues. Maybe, maybe I can get this butterfly in her hair. Uh, this was, I think some wrapping paper. It's got beautiful images. Maybe I can use some of that, either die cut or cut out. And look at this pretty, isn't this beautiful? So, that's my goal. Let's see what happens. I'm going to cut about a bunch of stuff off camera, and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. I don't mean to be a downer, but that was not fun. My art table in my studio is too small to use the physics. I was cramped. I was too lazy to drag everything down to the big table in the dining room, kitchen. I have like an eat-in kitchen. It's a dining room table in my kitchen. That's where I should have done it but I wasn't willing to bring it all down there. And this is, these are all the dies that I cut and some scraps and it's a shame because everyone leaves you with these. So I'm going to have to just collage these onto a page here nearby because I, I don't know what to do with them. I'm not going to waste that paper, but that's for another day. Enough whining, Jill. So my page is dry. Here are my scraps are underneath for what I, might need. Um, these are all of my little flowers. I'm going to have a lot of extras. And my butterfly I may cut out and put on there. I ended up not die cutting this. I thought I might use, I don't know, some pieces of it somewhere. I really don't know what I'm going to do. What I'm planning is playing with these, collaging them all down. Uh, I also made some of those circles with the, I think it's called a framelit. Um, and I had to sit, here's more whining, sit and punch out every single one of those little, boy was that a drag. Some of you who use a Sizzix way more than I do, I, I believe I saw where you use wax paper to prevent that. I'll have to look that up before I use this die cut again. But I'm going to fast forward the next part as I play, collaging these on, just using matte medium and a brush, and let's see what happens.
So I was thinking that I might be done this page. Let me give you, I'm really, really pleased with how funky her face is and messed up. And I love it just like that. But other things about the page are bothering me. It seems to, now the neighbors, <laughs> the neighbors leave their dog out to bark all day long. I've waited about an hour and a half and I couldn't wait any longer to do the video. I hope you can't hear the dog barking. It's really sad that they leave their dog out to bark all day long. But it seems to me, back to what I was saying, this page needs some drama. I'm happy with the collage, but it's, all I can say is it's weak. Um, I would like to add some darks in, in places and I think she needs some hair on this side of her face. Um, I'm okay with how weird this is down here. I'm willing to leave that. But I, I might also need some dark, I don't know, at the top of her dress. So my dilemma is what kind of hair should she have? Should she have long flowing hair? And I'm also hoping, good, this pen does write on top of the matte medium. I'm just gonna start here. I love this little scratch here that looks like hair. Uh, I don't know what kind of hair she needs. I'm going to wet it down a little so that it doesn't look so. Oh, I think we'll go with that kind of hair. And I want to wet some of it to come in on this side of her face in that that white bloom there so if I do that we're gonna have to have some hair inside of here I'm hoping when I wet it it runs around these collage pieces. Okay. I really don't know where I want to add dark to get some drama. Let's try some of those cutouts. What do you think? Now I said I love her face, so I really shouldn't touch it much. I want some dark up here. Let's bring some in around these. Before I go any further, I wanna see what happens when I wet this. And I can do more. I'm going to need a smaller brush because I want some control. So I've got this small brush. My husband wants to write a letter <laughs> to the people next door. We live in a townhouse that says, you know, it's really rude of you to leave your dog out to bark all the time. Um, the dog barks whether we're outside or not, but right now my husband's out cleaning the backyard and it's just making the dog crazy. And um, we can't let our dog out ever when that dog's out. We let her out briefly. We yell at her, <laughs> poor dog. We yell at her, you go potty and, and She's not allowed to bark. She has to go potty and come right back in. She sneaks out a bark here and there, but we don't let her bark endlessly. Um, it's just wrong. People can't sit out in their yards. People can't have company over if the dog's going to sit and bark. You know, being a townhouse, their yard is right on top of ours. It's, oh, I'm sorry, it's just frustrating. But I don't think 
I don't want my husband to write a letter. It's not good for neighbor relations. I think they'll take it the wrong way. No matter how you write that letter, it's not going to be received well. There. Okay. Well, now we know it works well on top of the matte medium. It wets. I'm going to add some darks here to bring out some of these shapes of these flowers. This is the kind of thing you can spend a lot of time on and you have to decide how much you want to do and how much is worth it. This I used a little too much water. I think it got too light. Let's see. I want this to remain light down here. But I might go as far as this corner. My paper's moving on me. My page. As you can see, I'm just I'm just kind of scribbling. Let's see. I'm going to clean my brush and soften out some of these. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of shadow in this side of her face. I'm going to pull too much water and I'll get a bloom. I'm going to pull some of that ink in. There. Now, see what I mean by some drama? It was all looking too pale. So, I have to decide how far to go with this. I'm liking the variations up there. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to need... Some here. Oh, I, I know you can hear that dog. I can't believe people are that rude. Imagine if you had a baby trying to sleep. I think then we would be writing that letter. more um 
I had intended to bring it down all the way to this corner. Oh, let's try a little more. I'm not talking. <laughs> if the dog barking is too obnoxious, I might just do a voiceover on this part of the video later. I really don't want to speed this part up. This is the kind of this is the kind, you know, all of that collage, there was really nothing to be said. But during this part, I like to share some of my thoughts as to why I'm putting dark here, why I'm doing what I'm doing. I think that might be it. I think that made a big difference. I'm tempted to put in some No, see that's too uh, too distracting. I could doodle on top of some of those flowers, but that would be too much distraction. I think now she's done. Bring out. I don't want to touch her nose or her mouth at all. All right. I hope this inspires you. If you have a Sizzix die cut machine or any, you could collage anything on here. You could hand cut out whatever you wanted. Buy um, embellishments and put them on. Well, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again in my next video.